Okay, now let us get into this evidence, right? Because what they say, trust the science. And with these evidence, you will definitely see that you need to ask critical questions. You need to connect the dots, especially when it comes on to individuals that work in the medical field that like to come and tell you that they are the doctors and they are the nurses and they are the specialists and you should trust them, right? As they say, trust the science. Let's get into this evidence from the Miami Herald. And the date is January 26, 2023. Federal agents arrest slew of suspects in Florida nursing school diploma scam. Federal agents on Wednesday arrest about 25 suspects accused of selling fabricated nurses, nursing degrees to thousands of students who then use the bogus diplomas to take licensing exams in several states including Florida, New York, New Jersey, and Texas. A network of nursing school operators centered in South Florida illegally charged each student between $10,000 for a licensed practical nurse degree and $17,000 for a registered nurse diploma without, without requiring proper training according to federal authority and court records. Now let us get into some numbers. Let's get into the meat of what is going on. An estimated 7,600 students paid a total of 114 million for phony nursing degrees from the South Florida schools and other suspected programs between 2016 and 2021. No, I have a feeling that this is just the tip of what is going on, right? So this story is coming from the United States, right? Fresh off the press, January the 26th, 2023. Now, let us get into another piece of evidence coming from the UK. Now, I'll be reading this evidence from the Mail Online, and this one fresh off the press as well, the 10th of January, 2023. Accomplished fraudster was paid up to 1.3 million by the NHS after forging a degree certificate and pretending to be a doctor, court hears. Zaholia Alimi, 60, worked as NHS psychiatrist, pay attention, for 22 years without qualification. She denied 20 offenses, including forgery and fraud, at court in Manchester. The, def the defendant forged a degree certificate and letters of verification court heard no this is absolutely sad right now this woman she has worked for 22 years as a psychiatrist having no qualification and calling herself a doctor people pay attention and do not be quick to hand over your bodies to people because they tell you that they are the expert, they are the specialists, they are the doctors. Understand what is going on, right? I cannot believe it for 20 odd years this woman worked as a fake doctor. So we have evidence from the United Kingdom, fresh off the press. Evidence from the United States, fresh off the press. Use critical thinking and connect the dots. Go check these stories out for yourself and understand you should always be asking questions and do not hand over your bodies to these people who are telling you to trust the science right we need to pray and seek the faith of the most high as i say glory be to the most high